Hey folks, it's Adam Mills, Mills Ammunition. Hope you are doing great. Another great video for you. Our goal at Mills Ammunition is to be the greatest, best supplier of small arms ammunition in America. Now that's a, that's a big goal and we work towards it every single day. Right now we are the best keep, kept secret in the ammunition industry, no BS. So what are we doing today to get better? Well, we've got a box, we've got a couple boxes. We've got a couple boxes of this Federal. This is Federal nine millimeter Luger, 115 grain. Um, and we're gonna shoot 70 rounds of it today. Why are we shooting competitors ammunition? Well, the truth be told, we want to know, uh, well, that's kind of where I started, right? Is shooting other people's stuff to figure out what's going on with theirs so we could make ours better. Um, that's just simple. So what we're doing today is we have a video series going on right now um, that's showing we shoot our 115s, our 124s, uh, and our 147s. We're shooting those in six groups of five that's one video and then the next video is four groups of 10 that's a total of 70 rounds at the end of the four uh four string 10 shot group we look at standard deviation we look at average feet per second we look at all that stuff so essentially we're shooting through two boxes and that's a big part right one box is this way one box is that way right or is it the same so that's what we're trying to illustrate and we're looking at that with a competitor right here we also saw a video it's probably like two or three weeks ago and it must have been getting ready for deer season because the guy was at a range like our rifle range which is 100 and, and 200 yard range and he, he he basically said hey man here's 100 bucks if your gun can shoot sub moa and if you don't know what that is, it's a minute of angle. And a minute of angle is just a hair bigger than an inch. And that is at 100 yards. So if you had a sub MOA gun, it means it shoots a group underneath one inch. So at 200 yards, it would be a group of under two inches and so on and so forth. All these guys, dude, my gun shoots sub MOA. Oh yeah, dude, no problem. That guy sat out there for hours. If you've seen this video, comment in the bottom. I wanna get it, I wanna watch it again. No one shot sub MOA, not one single person in that video. No one got his a hundred bucks. I tell you this because most folks don't have any clue how accurate their gun is, how accurate the ammunition they're shooting through their gun is, how consistent their, their stuff is. They don't, they don't test. So guess what? We're going to help you with that, right? So. Here's the thing is when we, when we do a video for our 115 grains and they shoot, you know, a four inch group, I, I guarantee you there's someone out there going four inch group, that's garbage. Well, you probably don't really know. I'm not trying to be condescending, just being factual. And you really don't know what a competitor's ammunition shoots, how accurate they shoot. We're shooting through a ransom rest, right? So it's very, very hard as an individual to duplicate those results, right? Uh, that a ransom rest is, is, is going to produce for you. So trust me, if a ransom rest is shooting four inches with a particular gun, with a particular ammunition, it's going to be very, very hard for you to shoot a group underneath four inches. That's just the way it is. So let's figure out how consistent and how accurate is federal. That way, when you watch our other videos with our 115s, our 124s, and 147s, you have something to compare it against. Here's the other thing is, the support we get, it, it, it's a life-changing thing. We're a, we're a family-run business. Uh, we're all in. We started our Mills Ammunition in 2020, and everything we have goes into this business. My son, my daughter, my wife, we all work on this thing. I also have a partner who's very helpful as well. But we are all in. And so when you folks like, comment, and share on our videos, and make a purchase of the Mills Ammunition so you can see for yourself how good our product is, it means the absolute world to us. And to support a small veteran-owned business, I, I think is a good thing. I think that supporting small business is important. 
and that's what we do with our own ammunition. Our brass comes from a company called National Trade there in Fletcher, North Carolina. Our boxes are from Schneider Packaging there in Concord, North Carolina. Our stickers come from CRC. Um, they're a printing company in, in, in Huntersville, North Carolina. We do what we say the, to the best of our ability. If we can buy small, we do that. We are making a fantastic product, and I just want to say thank you for loving us and sharing our videos and purchasing our products. It means a ton to us. Thank you. Come along for the ride. So here's what we're going to do. Same thing. Um, it's going to be a two-part video. First part is shooting six, six groups of five shots at 25 yards out of the ransom rest. Beretta 92X. Very standard gun, metal gun. I love it. And metal guns typically shoot better out of a, a ransom rest, in my humble opinion. Uh, then the next video is uh, four 10-shot groups uh, and then a summation of the feet per second standard deviation and it puts all the numbers together for you. We appreciate you. Come along. Okay, this is our Federal, not ours, this is Federal 115 out of a breaded 92X and a ransom rest of 25 yards. We are going to do six different strings of five-shot groups. And there's our first five. Holy smokes. See if I can find it. I'm gonna go down range and see if I can figure that one out. I don't think I can. All right, so this is somehow our fourth freaking shot, our fourth group. Holy smokes! Okay, I got that one. Thank you, Lord. Yep, yeah, I got that one top right. Got that one. Three. Four. I'm literally having to go down there and mark each one. All right, so this is group five. That one go. Go look, holy shit. Oh, it's low. All right, that second round is the furthest left one. Should be three. I don't know, man. I guess it's five. Let's go figure it out. All right, here's our last, our last five. Holy smokes, dude. Safety's on. Right side. Dude, bottom of that. I think I got three more. Fucking no clue, dude. No 
no clue. To go down and look. I gotta even, I gotta go right down and look right now. This is nuts, dude. Nuts. All right, I'm gonna go back here and try to show you where this group is. So there's, you can see on the bottom right there, there's one, I've, I've marked that three. And then there's, I'm, I'm aiming at the bottom, there's, you can see three, tri, or three uh, squares. I'm aiming at the, the middle one, right? So there's one uh, that's on the right side of that specific target. Then there's one that's in the far right target by the, th by the three number, or that's a five number. And then there's one that's in the center target. You can see it between the, there's one, two, three on the bottom, the center. That's the third one. And then the fourth one is there up in the top left. That, that's, that's a group. That is a group at 25 yards. We got one shot, thank the good Lord above. One shot. Saw that one. Holy smokes, dude. I'm gonna do something right now to show you something. All right, so I was out here earlier today and I was doing some practicing of my own at 15, 20, and 25 yards. And I have five rounds left. And when I practice, I use calls. And what is a call? Call is the ammunition that you call or separate um, from the stuff you're gonna sell, right? These happen to be a little bit shorter than they should have been, a little bit taller than what they should have been. Maybe they didn't case gauge perfect. Whatever it is, I deemed, or my wife deemed, because we QC every single round, that something, you know, was a miss. So that's what I practice with. Um, they shoot fine. It's just they're they're not what I put out to the public. Um, so let's just show you. I haven't messed with the gun. I haven't touched the gun. Um, this bred a 92x from the videos that you'll you'll see in our series. It shoots 147s, the best, heavier the better for this particular barrel. I believe that's a reason uh, that, you know, this is one in 10 twist. But anyway, different story for a different day. Let's see if this thing can get on paper. All right, top left. And that first round is a racked round, hand racked round. So it's always gonna be a little goofy. There's two. There's three. There's four. Oh, that's five, isn't it? Yeah. So my point is, is this. That is a, just looking off the top of my noggin. One, two. That's probably, I mean, it's probably a bigger group than what I like, but if, if you take that first hand racked around, that's a under three inch group. I, with those federal, we, we were, I don't even know what size those groups are. We're gonna figure it out, but huge. Huge. You know what, dude? I'm gonna go measure that group real quick. So I just went down and measured. It's a 4.6 inch group, right? Um, you know, I'm gonna tell you that's setting the world on fire, but by God. So now you know. It ain't, it ain't something that with the rest or, it's just, this is how this, this is what it shoots. Met a girl downtown at the bar last night and we got to talking. 